passing of a legend just isn't strong enough to describe the loss today of singer Tony Bennett. People tonight leaving flowers on a bench in Central Park that bears Bennett's name, a place where he used to love to sit and watch the carriage horses and paint. A similar scene tonight in Los Angeles at Bennett's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This legendary crooner died this morning at his apartment on Central Park South. He was 96 years old, and while he had a long and successful life, the fact is it just wasn't long enough. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Heininger with a look back. This is the Astoria of today, a bustling strip of trendy restaurants and bars which bears zero resemblance to the Astoria of nearly a century ago when Anthony Benedetto was born here. For all his global fame, Tony Bennett would be as unrecognizable in today's Astoria as it would no doubt be to him. Still, my son was like, yo, ma, I remember him. Some do remember. Vanessa Rabinas was born and raised in the neighborhood and works at the nearby school Bennett founded in honor of his friend, Frank Sinatra. He's like a, uh, an honorable person. Like, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create this for you and I create it because of the arts and in honor of my friend who passed away. It may be named for Sinatra, but it's very much a Tony Bennett production. Gideon Frankel is the principal. When he would visit our school, his face would light up when he spoke to students and when he saw students perform. I left my heart in San Francisco. The 96-year-old's career spanned decades, earning 20 Grammys and selling as many as 60 million records. I have a charmed life because I've always known what I wanted to do. And that was to sing the so-called American Songbook, simple, nostalgic music many deemed no longer relevant at the outset of rock and roll. But Bennett's career came roaring back as he inserted himself into pop culture, performing duets with the likes of Lady Gaga. Tony Bennett was 96 years old. Get my kicks out of you. What a voice. High praise for Bennett tonight from two younger music legends who followed in his footsteps, Harry Connick Jr. and Michael Bublé. His voice was one of a kind. It, you know, he, he, he just had this incredible ability to interpret lyrics and an unbelievable amount of power in his voice. He's truly an icon. I mean, um... He has changed the face of music. And it, it's not to see more of the tributes coming in for Tony Bennett, we invite you to check out ABC7NY.